Hala. And hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've been on the market for a house here in America. What a pain in the butt it is to buy a house. God damn. The amount of forms you have to sign and stuff. Anyway, I was, I was curious, like, I wonder what this is like in Germany. You know what I mean? It just got me thinking, I mean, houses are on my mind, okay? So I found some some YouTube shorts um, about homes in Germany. You know, we got, like, this one's called Germany vs. America Home Inspection, which is interesting. Best thing about German homes. Buying a house in Germany be like... And why do so many Germans rent? All right, all right, all right. I'm hyped. Let's go. I have to refresh them because no matter what you do, you can't pause. This is what is it doing? Why is it a wall made out of bricks and plaster? And look at how thick it I've is. seen this video before. Ten inches thick. This oh. is an American wall. <laughs> It's made out of paper and air. And our exterior walls are made out of the same stuff. Just a little... Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have the siding on there, the plastic siding. <laughs> Technically should say Arizona. This. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, at least, you know, if a, if a hurricane hits or something... And your house gets destroyed. Well, you know what? Maybe your house wouldn't get destroyed in Germany. So maybe I'm just talking out my butt. I was going to say, you know, at least it's cheaper to rebuild because you're making it out of Play-Doh. One thing I really like about that, I'm not even, I'm just moving on from that last one. Okay. I'm offended. I'm deeply offended. One thing I, I really like about German houses is that... I do have to actually, now that we're talking about this, buying a house here in America, half of it just is about like the roof. I swear, half your consideration is just how old is that roof? And it had me thinking like, I know in Germany you guys actually use like clay shingles and stuff, right? Stuff that's not just flippity floppity rocks, like pebbles glued to a piece of paper. Um... And yeah, I don't know. You guys would probably be mind blown by it's just all about, you know, how old's the roof? Oh, is the roof leaking? Oh, is it? Is it how, how much? How many more years is this roof going to last? You think? Anyway, one thing I really like that about German houses is that. Can I read? All right. Oh, yeah, I got to refresh because I don't. I tried to pause it. One thing I really like about German houses is that they come with an automatic document sourcing system. It's been three years. Oh, I did it just placing my document somewhere in the house. And then after that, it will be magically sorted into a binder. Let me show you. Where's she going with this? What kind of stapler was that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys have two, two ring binders? <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be taking away from this. Apparently this lady thinks that her German husband <laughs> is like... You know, it's like the secret German elves that um, pick up the socks at night. Anyway, that's her husband, but it's with cleaning the house. Okay, okay. So get yourself a German husband, ladies. Um, anyway, you guys have two ring binders. That's crazy. We have three ring. Just if yeah, yeah. We have three ring binders. It's got to be at the top and the bottom. You guys just have two in the middle. And not with just documents. Other stuff works too. Oh, the Pokemon One thing card I collection. What really I like about German houses is that they come with an auto. Okay, that was funny. That was funny. Shout out to the German guys out there that are cleaning the house for their wives. <laughs> Hi, I'm Zach98. Oh my God. I'm welcome to my office. That's how a lot of guys treat their wives here in America. It's like you just expect them to be the automatic house cleaner. All right, so this guy is Zach. By the way, all these channels are linked down below. These are really funny so far. Um, this guy is like a legend on German TikTok and shorts. Zach XC. Anyway, buying a house in Germany be like, let's see. 
It's at House Handel Hans. I hear you're interested in the German real estate market. Yeah, so quite a few of my friends in the States have bought a house, so I thought I'd check out the German market. Wunderbar. Yeah, so I'm curious, how Wunderbar. much does a square foot cost? We only deal in meter squared here. And for Stuttgart, you are looking at about 7,000 euros. 7,000 per square meter? Yes, that's correct. How can anybody af- I'm trying to do the math, but that sounds like a shit ton. 7,000 per square meter. I mean, what is, I'm trying to, I'm trying to convert that. So there's like around nine square feet in a, or like 10 square feet in a square meter, right? So that would be like 700 per square foot. Oh my God. For this. For the most part, they can't. Uh, home ownership in Germany is less than 50%. So you can expect a down payment of 15 to 20%. Grunderwerbsteuer of 4%. What's a Grunderwerbsteuer? Notary and land registration of 1.5%. My immobilian market. You know, here in America too, it's all these stupid little fees they tack on. You're already paying hundreds of thousands of dollars and then they do all this. Sir, I don't think you understand. That means for a down payment, I need 150K to 250K. Oh, I understand perfectly. And you must keep oh the house God. for the speculation period of three to 10 years. Otherwise you will have to pay the speculation penalty, which depending on your income and tax bracket could be 30 to 40%. <laughs> 30 to f speculation. I don't, who is speculating on this German market when the, with the house is that high? I'm trying to figure out, is that in place to try to, that's to try to stop people from just buying up houses and trying to flip them and sell them for profit. So in theory, this is there to try to help buyers, right? Yeah, yeah from just investors and stuff buying up all the houses. Wow, interesting. But why is, it doesn't seem to be working if, if it's $7,000 a square meter. You're looking a bit pale. <laughs> Hi, I'm Zach. <laughs> but that would be, man. You're stuck in the house, huh, for a few years. What if you had to move? Like, what if you got a job opportunity? You can't pay 30% penalty on your house. That's ridiculous. And it said three to 10 years. I moved to Germany. That's I was crazy. Okay, when I moved to Germany, here's why so many Germans rent. Sure, right. that so many people here don't own their homes. Germany's act Well, now I just, I think I figured out part of that equation. Let's see if this guy says the same thing. That that last video implied it's just because home ownership is insanely expensive. Actually, the country in the European Union with the highest percentage of renters, way above the EU average. Here are some reasons. Relatively strong rent controls mean landlords mm. can't just charge whatever they want and tenants can challenge unfair rent. Wow. Hidden costs so buying makes home ownership less attractive. And historical factors such as strong state investment in rental housing after World War II mean people are I'm surprised with all the like uh, fees and stuff stacked on top of it. I would think that would make the cost of houses go down. You know, you'd think houses would be cheap. I used to renting. But as rent prices go up in Germany, this could change soon. I moved to Germany. I was shocked that- I need to watch the last 10 seconds because I was like thinking and talking like a stupid, arrogant. American. So many people here don't own their homes. Watch Germany is actually the country in the European Union with the highest percentage of renters, way above the EU average. 50%. Here are some reasons. Relatively strong rent controls yep, yep, mean yep, yep. landlords can't just charge whatever they want and tenants can challenge unfair I'm rent. I'm just trying to see that last Hidden part Hidden costs of buying makes home ownership less attractive. And historical factors such as strong state investment in rental housing after World War II mean people are used to renting. Oh. I don't even know what to think about that. That's interesting. So the rent, basically with all the rent controls and the investment from the government and rent, renting in Germany and stuff, renting is just really attractive in Germany compared to buying a house. Whereas opposed to here in America, people see renting as just like, like throwing your money into a pit of fire, basically. <laughs> Like, as opposed to buying, because historically, homes are typically an appreciating asset. Hopefully, it stays that way. So, you know, people want to buy a house and you know, get one early, get one when they're young. And that way, the equity they, they have in that house when they go to move 
that they can use as a down payment on their next house. And that's how you get in the situation we're in now where houses are $10 million. But it seems like that it's that way around the entire world, so I don't know what to do about that. Anyway, that was very interesting. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did. I hope you did too. Subscribe if you want to. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.